Hey, buddy, this is Jackson. I'm half. I have Ben here. He was uh, one of the Chiefs Assassin's winners. Yeah. Yep. How many people did you kill in Chiefs? Oh, this interview is going to be about Chiefs Assassin's. I forgot to say that. How many people did you kill in Chiefs Assassin's? Um, I actually only needed to get two kills. I know one of them. I knew who one of them was. Yes. Who Brittany. Was that? Yes, it was. She was my last. Who was your first person? Um, if you remember. It was quite a while ago. I yeah. Was... So, we're, uh, yeah. we're doing another Chiefs Assassin's game this month. Will you be doing it, do you think? I will. Yeah. That's cool. I'm not doing it. I was, uh, I'm a coordinator for it. Okay. <laughs> How did you uh, like the first game of Chiefs Assassin's? Um, I really enjoyed it. I found it to be incredibly stressful. Yeah. Which was really exciting. I thought that was probably the best part, was that you were constantly wondering what was going to happen next mm -hmm. and trying to figure out who was hunting you and who you had to hunt. Really? It was good. Uh, were, did you almost get killed a couple times, or were you always in the safe zones? I had yeah. one situation where I was very close to being killed. Um, I was pretty sure through our research that a certain person was hunting me. Oh, okay. However, when we saw her leave the building, I was like, sweet, I can just go downstairs. And as I was walking downstairs, one of the other people in the lobby looked at me, and I could just see it in their eyes that they were, like, excited for my next step down the stairs. So I immediately sprinted through the stairwell and out into the guy's floor. Yeah. And just made it before I was caught. So that, really? was, that was a pretty intense moment. You can say that person was if you want. If you, I, if you don't. I don't know, remember. Is it one of the yeah. finalists? It was not. Okay. Uh, is this your first time ever playing two assassins or two, like assassins? It was not my first time playing assassins. Okay. It was my first time playing with this set of rules. Yeah. I have played it differently in the past. How did you like this set of rules compared to your past times doing it? I found it very different and very interesting because in the past we played where every man was for themselves. Yeah. So you could kill anybody whenever you wanted to. There's no targets, things like yeah. that. So the game happened a lot faster. Yeah. Um, and I think that having specific targets prolong the game, but also force you into more of a pressure of trying to find specific people when it was much more accurate to what assassins should be, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And you also get to meet people you have probably never met before and chase. Yeah. That's well, like when you bonding. just kill everybody, yeah. it's a lot easier. So I did find it kind of cool to... To have specific targets. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, do you want to see anything change about this coming Chase Assassin's that hasn't happened yet? What do you think it was fair? Um, I think it was fair. I think overall it was just a matter of who can survive the longest. Yeah. Um, cool. So I think that as long as they stick with what they did last time, it should still work well. Yeah, we have uh, the same team come back for organizing it. Except for Caitlin, because she's away. Okay. Uh, do you think there's... Were you surprised how many people played the first time? This is the first time, like, forever. A couple of years, Chase has done it. Um, I'm not sure. I guess being that I'm a freshman, I hadn't really, like, known that it wasn't something they did every year. But it was yeah. it was interesting to, to have 56 people at the beginning and yeah. just watch the numbers decline very quickly. Yeah, a lot of people died. I think the first person died right before chapel. Yeah. Which was your RA. Yeah. So that was pretty funny. Were you surprised that, like, the RAs were the first people to die? Um, I kind of expected that, yeah. mainly because other people had the ability to disappear. But the RAs are kind of in the spotlight. Everyone knows who they are. Yeah, and they're on so. duty, it is. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, what do you... Oh, I'm tr sorry. I have bad memories sometimes. Uh... <laughs> What kind of strategies did you have for your first Chase Assassin's game? Um, but you want to share if you don't want it, it's okay. No, of course. I treat Ch Chase Assassin's exactly the way that I would treat any task. Um, like scouting it out. I, I just... I would spend the first couple hours doing research. Mm -hmm. Just figure out who my target was, yep. what kind of activities they were interested in, which kind of gives you an idea of where you could find them. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, unlike lots of people, I would organize my hits. So, I kind of treated assassins more of the way that I would expect assassins to handle their job. Yeah. I know some people ran around and just tried to find people and kill them. 
that which obviously the idea. is an option. Yeah. Um, and it worked for some people. Lots of people did do really well doing that. However, I played a very safe version of making sure that I was in a position where I couldn't be killed, uh-huh. doing my research, finding out where I could find my target, and then organizing when I would make the hit. Yeah. And that would be the only time that I would make a hit. Um, so I never actually had a situation where I accidentally ran into my target and got a free kill. Okay. Or was just walking around. Really? Um, I consider that far too high risk, and I went directly for low risk positioning, um, and just finding enough information about um, where my target is okay. and where I can find them. Oh, sorry. Were any of your hard, uh, targets hard to kill? Both? Was any of them harder than other? Um, both of them were probably harder to find than to kill. Probably Brittany was easier because she was working at yes. the time you killed her. So once I found specific times when I knew where they would be, yeah, that's when I made my hit. And that was the only time that I would allow myself to make a hit was mm-hmm. if you walk around constantly trying to find your target, you put your back out there and someone can find you. Yeah. Um, so what I ended up doing was just observing their movement until I found the perfect opportunity to make a hit that wouldn't fail. Really? So. Cool. Uh, do you think there should be less safe zones or more next time? Or do you think it's perfect, like, how it is? I think the game will completely change just because of the weather. Yeah. Um, so, safe zones, I think, worked out perfectly fine the way they were. They made for some interesting styles of play. Mm-hmm. But it was... All right, I guess it will be the way that the weather affects the game mm. that completely determines how this one ends. Yeah. And I think it will change the way that people have to play. Just because in the past, people would run around outside and try and find people. Mm. It's going to be hard up here to affect snow. It's far too cold to do that. And if there is snow at the time of the game, then obviously it gives people a direct paths that they have to take. Yeah. Um, and it also makes uh, tracking much easier for someone to go off path. Yeah. They would have to go through the snow, making it very easy to follow them. I was talking to somebody a couple weeks ago about this. Uh, if sn- snow or something, they would always hide in the woods because nobody ever goes out there. Mm-hmm. Do you think that would be a good hiding place for somebody? I think it would be incredibly effective for those who would know how to defend themselves in that situation. Yeah. Um, snow poses multiple more threats than a just assassin's game does. <laughs> I'm used to, I'm never freezing, so I'd be definitely okay out there. Yes. I would probably consider that a safe area. However, you also pose the risk of walking in there and being ambushed. Yeah. Um, you so never there's, know. There's always that. And also, if you're going to go out into the woods or anywhere like that, mm-hmm. you need to have somebody who's not involved in the game know where you're going so that you are safe there. Yeah. Um, because if you get too cold and, and like, say, hypothermia kicks in or yeah. something, you need somebody, you, out there you need to help somebody you. who can help you in, in case something actually goes wrong. Yeah. So safety uh, is more important than winning the game. Did you hide in your room? Uh, because I know a lot of people hide in their room a lot. Did you hide in your room a lot planning? Um, I didn't hide in my room specifically. Uh, the first day, I didn't have a choice. I had to write a TGC paper. Oh, okay. Um, so I spent that entire day just writing my paper and organizing all of that. But I did spend that time uh, once, whenever I would take a break from writing my paper, I spent my time doing research. Do you think the hallways in uh, Chase to be safe? Because they're not at the moment. Do you like how they're safe? It's like privacy... I think it's necessary that they're safe because otherwise people would be running through the halls all the time. And yeah. People who aren't playing the game, that would be very distracting. But yeah, I like that. I like the twenty-four hour spaces, like uh, staircases, basement. Mm-hmm. Did you kill anybody in the basement? Like nobody really. It's not a lot of places to hide down there. I don't think many people went down there. Just for classes. Because of the fact, yeah, I think it was just for classes. Um, I find that kind of interesting because if you're in a classroom, you can't be killed. Yeah. But you're also trapped in the classroom, and so once class is over, Somebody your can be assassin outside. can just stand there and wait for you. Or um, like an RA, because the only people have access to the storage room, so they could always hide in there if they wanted. That's true. I, I don't really thought I had. What a bike room. That's Actually, true. Not really. Not the bike room. But I think everyone will have their own tricks, and um, everyone has their own style of play, which I think makes the game so much more interesting. Yeah. And I know for sure that the top top 
probably nine players who were alive at the end of last game will definitely be part of competition again. Yeah. And I'm sure there were people who just got unlucky at the beginning of the game who will pose yeah. a threat again. Are you scared of anybody when this game comes up? Um, or do you not know yet? It's too I'm early. not sure whether I would be scared of anybody, but I would definitely be doing my research right away. Um, Yo, what's good, bro? Okay. Cool. Were you trying to make the top number one this year? Like, you were in the top three last time. Or yeah, do you think last it'll be semester a I was only in the top three. Yeah, do you think it's going to be a lot tougher because more people are going to keep eyes on you now? I'm not sure. I think the other people in the top three will have a larger target on them because they were the official winners. Yeah, um, but you were one of them in a way. Yes, I was one of the three survivors. Yeah. However, they had more kills than me, yeah. so they were given the, uh, the award. Mm -hmm. So I think they'll have a much bigger target on their heads. Um, yeah. But... I think Grace will also have a big target because of oh, her, oh, yeah. her multiple kills. Yeah. Um, but I think this game, it, it, very, it really heavily depends on your communication with other people and the way that you handle the game. Um, yeah. I mean, my number one rule that I kept throughout the entire game was trust no one. Yeah, that, um, that's the way really to do it. You don't want nobody to backstab you. Exactly. And even people who didn't live in Chase... Um, Spies, probably. I, I would not talk to people about my positioning at all. Like, I would I would give them information, but it was always very loose information yeah. that could easily be interpreted in multiple different ways. They could be spies for somebody else just trying exactly. to get into vote. Did you, uh, I know a lot of people did alliances. Do you think that would be useful for anybody starting who hasn't played yet? I found alliances to be quite interesting. I was sort of in an alliance, but sort mm -hmm. of not. I wouldn't consider... It a full alliance. It was more of when we recognized that we were among the last nine people and we yep. were on the same floor and the prize related to the floor, um, we figured that one opportunity would be for us to kill everybody else and be the last two survivors. You and Spencer, right? Yes, that was Spencer okay. and I. And so it wasn't as much that we worked together. It was more that during our research times, we would sit down and research together and try and combine the information that we got from our sources to create a map that would show us the rotation of targets to yeah. try and figure out who was targeting who in our circle until we figured out what was really going on. Cool. Do you think it's going to be a lot harder because it really depends on your schedule too? Like if you have a lot more classes? I think it, it definitely depends on your classes yeah. and your schedule and your ability to be flexible with your schedule mm -hmm. and to work around it. Yeah. Um, people who strictly stick to their daily routine were the people who died the fastest. Yeah. Um, although, sticking to your strict daily routine can also protect you, and it really depends how you handle it. Um, well, uh, just like one last thing. This will be the last thing from our interview, and this video will be on YouTube and also my Facebook page after. Uh, is there anything you'd like to say to my viewers about starting Chase Assassins? Anything? Um, I guess if you are starting Chase Assassins, the main thing to remember is to focus on your own safety. Mm -hmm. um, don't put yourself in a place that's dangerous in real life or in the game. You don't want to get hit. Okay. And that your survival is actually far more important than your kills. Nice. Um, uh, sorry for interrupting. Uh, it's more questions just really to check things like that. Because check made the assassins. That's, um, yeah. you're, not in chase, you're not in check, but it's just some questions. If you don't mind. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, how many check... Like, what was your favorite check event you've been to? Uh, my favorite check event? Um, I, honestly, I'm not really sure what I would want to respond to that. Because yeah, it's tough. I, I've really enjoyed most of them so far. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed the coffee house. Yeah. Assassins, I guess, would be my favorite overall event, but it's so long-term and so different yeah. to the other ones. Yeah. Um, I also really enjoyed the, the Christmas movie party. Mm. I thought that was a really, really good event. Yeah, I don't really consider uh, this one to be an event, really, because events are usually like one day, it's going to be yeah. up to a couple weeks. Yeah. You, you never know how long the person... Is. I think just as this is very different. It's a different, it's a di yeah. project, I would say, more yeah. than an event. Is there any events you're excited for, for this coming semester? Um, Probably don't know a lot about them. I am excited to see what Chet comes up with this semester. You have a um, lot of fun things planned. Yeah. I'm excited to see what happens, and I'm obviously excited for another game of Assassins and okay. see who ends up victorious this time. Yeah. Um, uh, one more question. 
if you could live in uh, Chase again, would you be, want to be part of Check? If you could. Um, I'm actually on my way to handle my application for this semester. Oh, really? So. Yeah, Rachel will love you. Yep, so it should be good. Cool. Uh, thank you, guys. Thank you to Ben here, our awesome guy. We're going to have more interviews up this week, I hope. One of Michael Webb. And thanks. You're one of the last people on that interview for Chase Assassins here today. Yep. You're welcome. Thanks. Uh, remember to watch my videos, subscribe, and that's it. Thanks, guys, and have a great one. Thanks for doing it with me.